Hi, and welcome, Corey Thorne, psychic medium, spiritual healer, and life coach. Coach, coming in to do the channel message for the month of September. Uh, this one is for Gemini. Gemini, um, I want to go directly into an angel card for you. I felt like my whole energy shifted from the last ones that I've been doing, and I just feel this sense of needing peace, needing peace needing to find some peace, needing to find some serenity. And I just feel like surrender, surrendering in the energy, surrendering over um, this, these last, this last couple of years, this last four years have really not four, the last four months, but the last two years, the last four months have really been a push for you. And the last two years have really challenged you. Uh, Gemini, I feel as if there is some deep seated, uh, hurts and also some losses that are appearing around you and kindness is the angel card. I just feel like the angels are with you in whatever, wherever life is taking some of you next, so wherever you're going, please remember, this is not a personal reading. This is general is for those born under the sign or have Gemini energy within their own chart or if you're cross watching and it resonates with you. But this is quiet, tired, wore out. Uh, I just feel like you've just been like f biting at the bit and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, 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 fighting your own self. Like you're fighting your own demons. You're fighting your own energy, Gemini. And kindness is what comes up for me. And you're being asked to show yourself kindness along with everyone else. But um, I want to read you this angel message. In order to be kind, you must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion. Be kind to yourself, have reasonable expectations, and give yourself due praise. In order to nurture the gentle qualities of kindness, you need to cherish yourself. When you do something for yourself, you automatically extend that same energy to others. Kindness melts barriers of ice around people and re-empowers those who are afraid. So reach out to the lonely, draw out the shy, include those who feel isolated and comfort the sad. Reward, your rewards will be in a sense of inner peace, warmth, and love. And I really feel like this message is coming from um, from spirit world, from loved ones, from grandmother, grandfather energy. I feel like really a sense of grandparents who would say, you know what? Sometimes bad things happens to good people or sometimes good people have to make tough choices or make big, de or make big decisions. And what I really feel like for Gemini uh, is I'm like, when we're, we are on purpose, when we find the balance of giving and receiving, and sometimes you need to be on the receiving end and you not being on the receiving end. And I think you need to step back from all areas of your life sometimes and take a good look at your life. Take a good look in of what is, um, what am I fighting for? What am I seeking? And what does love really look like? What does it really feel like? And, um, and so I have two angel cards and the second one, never even noticed. I forgot the other one was sitting there for a moment. And the other one is purpose. And it's the angel reminds you that every situation or person in is placed on your path with purpose. It may be to strengthen you, offer an opportunity to resolve or forgive the past, release old patterns, or to actually find enjoyment. Your life purpose is ultimately to do that which brings you joy, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Seeking these soul qualities will place you on a path of your destiny. Once, once on your path, allow nothing and no one to deflect you from your mission. Your guidance is to ask your angels to help you find the purpose of your current situation, to find the purpose of your current situation if you are ready for your life, if, if you are ready for your life mission. Align your strength and willpower and hold your inner intuition to fulfill your purpose. Ange the angels will support you and you will succeed. I feel as if a lot of things, sometimes we have to have things taken away or we have to 
yeah, we have to have things taken away in order for us to know appreciation and to appreciate what we do have or what is there or what we need. If we're missing, if there's a missing element in our lives, we're, we can't live our whole life without those missing elements. And life is shorter than what we think it is. It really, truly is. And sometimes you need to make a choice that uh, aligns to your joy and to your happiness. So you're being called upon to find some sort of contentment. So for you, Gemini, is contentment. You have a wishy-washy energy sometimes, or you have the energy of seeking and searching approval. You're not going to get the approval. It's not coming. You have to approve yourself and you have to approve of, of your own self and approve of the decisions I'm making is because I do need joy and happiness. I do need to know that. And I feel like you have been waiting for signs. Show me a sign, show me a sign, show me a sign. Well, because you've been waiting for the signs, you actually haven't seen any signs because the signs you're looking for are like that crash in, crash down, like, bah, change my life. Or you're waiting for someone else to make your decisions. Nobody else can make your decisions. Stay in present. As I said, silence, stillness, be at, be at peace with yourself right now. Go inward. Where do I, where will I find the most joy and happiness? What, and remember, happiness in the material world is very, very temporary. This is long-term. This feels like long-term joy. And nobody out there is going to give you joy, no matter how much you seek and search it from somebody else. It's internal. And so I really feel like for you, September is about getting that clarity that you need. October is about a lot of changes. But the optimistic is like expecting those good things to come in, expecting this is the Mary Saints and the Angels. And I just feel like if you just ex if you start expecting that um, that life will provide to me the goodness. And life will take me in the direction that I need to go. But it's not going to always be your decision or you're not always going to get to choose that happiness the way that you think, think that you should be able to. Like control, there's some control freak energy around some of you Geminis. And you don't get to control it the same way as what you thought you would. And I feel as if, um, I feel as if you're coming into the end of September and there's some endings and there's some sadness and there's some moments that you're being called to take a deeper look at how short life is, how short life can be and how, um, how sometimes, you know, we look at the people that are like that, that person's such a good person. They do such good things and da, 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 da. And, but in the long, in the, in the, in the big picture, we admire them, but we don't honor them or we don't tell them or we think that we have forever to connect. And whether it's siblings, whether it's relationships, whatever it may be, is that you don't have everybody forever. And you really truly have to appreciate this. Um, and I have the 10 of earth and I feel like the 10 of earth is happy, happy endings, happy family. Sorry, my daughter is messaging me, speak of family. And it's like, truly about there's a lot of magic to be found and children are a big huge part of your life and i feel like when you have to make changes is that you have to find the little things to hold to hold on dear to and um sometimes it's going back to the past and thinking about your childhood thinking about what that was like and remembering your why and what you're doing and I just feel like there's some spark of magic coming in. And there's also some um, increase financially. Like there's, there's flow of abundance. You've really been, see, and here's the end again. And I have the end. You have endings that have to happen. You have to release, surrender. Um, but it's like something is coming to an end. And there's always going to be somebody who's going to be sad. It just is. But in order to get to joy and happiness, Life leaves us in these unpredictable places, but I do have a, I do have a fire sign around you and you're Gemini, so you're not a fire sign, but you do, you do connect very well with a, that fire sign energy. 
And I just, and she's the queen of fire and she's very kind of that intelligent energy. She's, um, so this would be in like wands in tarot and she's, um, she's someone very strong, very independent, very connected to you, but don't take people for granted and don't think that don't take and, and remember, sorry, and remember, people's strength can also be their weakness because they don't reach out. They don't ask for help. And sometimes, Gemini, you can be a little self-centered. And so there's people that are seeking and searching a little bit in different areas for you. Um, and if you're a Gemini, I feel like if you're, if you're a Gemini who's been struggling with confidence, I feel like this is the month you're really going to start to... Um, kind of take that deep breath, breathe in. What has taken me farther away from my confidence, farther away from who I know I truly am? And I just see us coming back full circle and I see your wings spreading. And in, in the midst of sadness, in the midst of something that is faded, something that has to, that's aligning whether you want it or not, I just feel like during that process, during that time, is that you're coming into the ultimate level of the why for you and taking maybe some big leaps of faith and making some big changes. But um, you're going to be needed. Your, your strength, your courage uh, will be needed in some areas within your life. Uh, September is definitely still on the bumpy, but that's why it's okay to kind of sit back, pause, breathe, and just ask ask God consciousness, go into prayer, ask for help from the divine, and just know that you will, you will be okay. Much, much love to you all. Have a wonderful September, and, uh, and there will be decisions and choices you'll have to make. And I hope somehow this aligns and, and resonates with some of the Gemini energy. It's kind of like, that's all I got for you. I, I could stretch it, and I could seek and search for more, but I feel like they're saying that's enough keep it simple really is don't try to overdo don't try to exaggerate don't try to convince yourself. don't try to tell stories about how you think people are or who you think they are trust this and don't try to convince people that you're good enough just let this unfold much love have a wonderful september bye-bye